If we depend on every prophet that came, let's talk about every prophet that came before Jesus. All of them. Not one of them ever said that God had a son. And what happened is that the last book, and, and, and what puts the Muslims in this favorable position is that we, be, we believe. See, we, see the, you know the difference between us? We believe in, 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 the, in the gospel in its original form. And we believe in the Torah. So we believe that the Quran now has to make sure it has to, it has to clarify any mistakes. Let me show you what I mean. Brothers and sisters, Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, had a big job. And one of his jobs is that people are going to follow him and follow his sunnah very closely, follow his practices very closely. Therefore, how do Muslims describe the sunnah of the Prophet? Three ways. Number one, what he said. Whatever the Prophet said, this is a sunnah. The Prophet said it. Or number two, what he did. And the third one is very interesting. What was done in his presence, and he didn't disapprove of it. It's part of his sunnah. So if someone, like, now me, I love chicken. I mean, I can eat chicken every day. I'm serious. All day long, I love chicken. Now, if someone was eating chicken in the presence of the prophet, and the prophet didn't say anything, I say, yeah. <laughs> now, the same thing with the Quran. Because the Quran is the last book, it must correct the mistakes. And I know people, people of faith, they go, they're going to believe it because they're people of faith. But the one thing, if you are honest, if we're honest, we will say that this teaching of the Trinity and the teaching that Jesus is the Son of God is absolutely new. What Muslims will call the bid'ah, a religious innovation. And so what the Quran has to do, it has to now correct it. Not Jesus. We don't believe that Jesus ever told people to worship him, he's the Son of God or any of that, or the Trinity. I'm not saying we reject it because it's irrational. That's not my argument. We reject it because God said it's not true. As simple as that. Now, one of the things that will happen in the, in the last day, we believe that everybody's going to believe in Jesus. And me, meaning that pe he's going to denounce people to, of worshiping him. And people will believe in him like they believe in every prophet. And every, every prophet, with no exception, taught that God is one. Every prophet, no exception. It's a, matter of, it's a matter of faith, and that's what, your, that's what your argument would be. Belief in Trinity is very difficult to believe in. It's a matter of faith. Ultimately, that's your argument. 